All right, and we're able now to go back to the conversation we wanted to take earlier in commemoration of the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination as well as the day in South Africa commemorating Human Rights Day. My guest again is Gilam Galvada. He's a Spanish writer and poet who's joining us from Barcelona, Spain. Gilam, welcome to NC Continental Prime. Hello, thank you for having me here. Thank you so much. So you've traveled the world sharing your poetry and your artistry as well. When you look back at some of the things you've seen and some of the experiences you've had and possibly your friends have had, how much do you think racial discrimination has negatively impacted humanity? I think, without a doubt, racial discrimination continues, unfortunately, existing. And I think that, out of all, empathy is the leitmotiv that surrounds poetry. I believe that it is our responsibility, specifically, specifically in my case, to accompany my colleagues who suffer discrimination and give voice and support our, in our search of equality. Mm. And when you look at certain situations now, do you think much has changed? Do you think there is progress in the fight against racial prejudice and discrimination? Are we winning the war against racial discrimination? Well, I think that mm, we are a step mm, towards racial equality, but I believe that there is still a long way to do. We need real freedom in social structures and improve human rights worldwide. All right, so you were among some of the, one of the poets that participated in the annual Poetry Africa Festival, which was hosted by the University of KwaZulu-Natal's Center for Creative Arts, and that was a few years ago. When you saw all the artists and the creatives who came together um, for that very special occasion, what did you take away from it? Well, it was a new space for, for me for spreading my poetry, specifically in my mother tongue, that is Catalan. But at the same time, I think it was a safe space um, for creativity. I think it is important to claim spaces like this and mm. discover poets from different cultural backgrounds and different points of views to create a, a secure network of creativity, empathy, and, and also free speech. Okay, so as a bystander, I would say, or maybe an onlooker, when you see what's happening with Russia and Ukraine, especially in the early days of the evacuation and the many reports we had that we as well as New Central covered with Africans and other people of color being denied access to safe haven, what do you think that says of the current state of the world, particularly as we're looking at racial discrimination and human rights? I think that um, poet, poetry is similar in, in these spaces and um, concretely in, in, in the sense of, of freedom, much more than prose in poetry, I think, much more multiple freedom in words, in rhythm, in syntaxes. And, and in, in these terms, I think that it is important to think that um, poetry is a space of freedom without a doubt and allows us to be more critical to the system and also to claim such powerful, con powerful concepts as identity and freedom itself. I think it is important to talk about inclusion and sharing, but I also, I also think that it is important to offer spaces to people who suffer discrimination to talk so they can explain the, their experiences and opinions to us. So beyond offering safe spaces, what do you think we can do as a world, as a people, to make sure we eliminate and to some extent to reduce social discrimination on the basis of race um, and all the things that come with it? I think the first thing is, is to allow any, anybody to, to talk and to express themselves and to share their opinions and, and their lives. I, I, I think that it's important not, not to to only, only think about one, one, one point of view. I, I think it's, it's important to, to have a, a spread mind and, and, and also to listen to people who suffer this discrimination. All right, Guillaume, thank you so much. We'll end it on there. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Uh, muchas gracias and buenas noches to you. Enjoy your day. Gracias. Buenas noches.